All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Zach Rosette with BuildBox. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export your games that you make with BuildBox into Android Studio and run them on a device. So first thing you're going to want to do is to download Android Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and just type into Google, download Android Studio. Okay. So you want to select this one here at the top, the Download Android Studio and SDK Tools Android Studio. And right here, if you're using a Windows, it might already generate this for you. If you're using a Mac, it'll automatically say Mac. If you're using a Windows and it says Mac right here, then just click on Download Options and then you can select the Windows download right here. And you can also select the Mac download. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to just download Android Studio for Mac. I'm going to select that I have read and agree with the above terms and conditions, even though I haven't read them. I'm going to go ahead and trust Android Studio, and I'm going to download it. Okay, great. I'm going to wait for Android Studio to download, and then I'm going to open it in just a second. All right, so now that I've got Android Studio installed and all ready to go, I'm going to open up BuildBox here. I'm going to open up the welcome window and click on Create New. And I'm going to use one of these templates here as an example for today. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this one here first. And if you already have a project going and stuff, I'll show you right now how to get it set up for Android. So you want to just go up here to the top left corner, super easy, hover over export, and then click on Android. And then it's going to give me a warning message about my bundle ID here in just a second. Okay, so it says no bundle ID specified, and that's okay. We can go ahead and just use the default by clicking continue, and it'll use the com.companyName.game name as the bundle ID. But if you haven't done so already, you want to go up up here to the options and set up your bundle ID. For right now, it doesn't really matter, so I'm going to go ahead and just use continue and use the default bundle ID. So now it's going to ask me where do I want to save this bbdoc file. And so I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to just name it example so that it's real easy for me to grab. I can grab it from my desktop, and it's just an example for Android Studio. And then this right here, this second one, is asking you where do you want to put the Android folder. So the other one was the game file. This one is the Android Studio game folder. It's getting it set up for that. So I'm going to name it example as well, and I'm going to save it, and it'll create a little folder for me. And then now I can go ahead and exit out of BuildBox, and let's take a look at that folder. Okay, so here we've got the example bbdoc file, and here's the example folder for Android. And so I'm going to open this up real quick, and you can see the Android folder. And there's a bunch of files and stuff here for Android Studio, but the one that we really want to notice, and the one that we're going to use right now, is this build.gradle. And I just wanted to show it to you before we open up Android Studio. So I'm going to exit out of this, I'm going to open up Android Studio now. Okay, so Android Studio is getting booted up here. And then there's going to be a welcome window right here that opens up. And so the one that you want to choose right here is you want to open an existing Android Studio project. So make sure you click on that one. And then I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to grab that example folder that I just made a little while ago. Okay, there it is. So I'm going to select my sample folder. I'm going to click in the Android folder. And then the one that you want to select is the build.gradle. And then I'm going to click open and give it a second. Okay, so this is Android Studio in all its glory. And so there's a couple things that we need to do to get this set up first. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the top right corner and I'm going to select the SDK Manager right here. Okay, and so this is really important. There's a couple things that we need to install here, and there's a couple things that we need to install here on the SDK tools and the SDK platforms. So I'm actually using an API 25, but what I want to do is I want to only partially install this one for um, using the instant run feature, and I'll show you that in a second. The one API that I definitely do want to download, and this is the one that you want to use as well, is the API 26, this Oreo one, okay, the Android 8.0. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to install that package real quick. I'm going to select OK here as well, and then give that a second to run the install. OK, great. I'm going to finish that up. OK, so now that that's done, and I believe it's still finishing up right here at the bottom, but we're also going to want to go back to the SDK tools and download a few things there and install a few things. 
So we've got uh, Oreo already set up, and when we actually run this, it's going to ask me if I want to partially install this 7.11 uh, NuGet here for the API 25 because I'm using um, a tablet that uses API level 25. So uh, keep an eye out for that. That's going to come soon. And what we want to do right now is we want to select these ones right here. We want to select Android SDK Build Tools. Go ahead and download the emulator, the uh, platform tools, and then the SDK tools, and then I also um, I also installed these two as well, the Android support repository and the Google repository, um, and also it's good to have the Intel 86 emulator ac accelerator. So I would go ahead and select all of these that I have here, and then click OK, and so then it's going to run the installation right now on that. So give that a few seconds. Okay, great, so now that that's finished, I'm gonna click Finish here, okay? And we should be good, and I'm gonna double check on this right now, I'm gonna make sure everything I got. Okay, cool, so this is installed. I still need to partially install this one to get the instant run going. I got my build tools, my emulator, platform tools, okay, looking good, okay, great. So now, the next thing that you wanna do is go onto your tablet or your phone and you want to make sure that you are in developer mode so the way to do that if you're not already in developer mode because some phones and tablets already come with developer mode active and they give you developer options when you go when you go to your options menu you can see developer options but just in case you do not see that what you want to do is you want to go down to your information a tab and you want to click on the build number in your settings you want to click on the build number seven times. And once you click on it or tap it seven times, then it activates developer mode. And then when you, when you get developer mode active activated, then you can go to developer options and select USB debugging and you want to turn that on. Okay, you want to turn on USB debugging so that you can actually run these apps on your tablet or your phone. So now that I've done all that, now I'm going to go up here to the top right corner and I'm going to press play. And it should say, uh, I should have a connected device here, and that's great. And I do have USB debugging on, but you actually have to press OK when the message comes up so that it can be referenced here. So now it's, sh it's showing that the tablet is active and so now I can just select it and I can press OK. Now once I press OK and it is going to run this app on my tablet, it's going to ask me if I want to partially install NuGet so that I can do an instant run and I'm going to I am going to do that. Okay. So here it is. Here's what I was talking about. It's going to do a partial install of uh, Android NuGet and then um, that way I'm going to be able to just run it faster. So I'm going to go ahead and install that right now. And if you're using another API level, it might be asking you to use one of the API level that you're using. So just keep an eye out for it. I would go ahead and install it, but the main one that you want for sure is the API 26, and that's the Oreo one. Okay, so that's been installed. I'm gonna go ahead and click Finish here. And we've got a good looking game here. I'm testing it right now on this Android tablet and it's working well. So this is a great way to build games with BuildBox and test them out on Android devices using Android Studio. And I know there was quite a few steps with this one. So if you have any problems at all, make sure to email support at buildbox.com and we'd be happy to help you out as much as we can. And if you're just starting Android Studio and it's asking you to make a few updates and things like that, make sure you accept all the defaults. And then also when you open a new product, Project, it may ask you to make some additional updates and go ahead and accept those and follow through with them. And then lastly, when you are making the installation, it may ask you to download a few tools that are specific to your device, which is very similar to the instant run that I showed you earlier. So that's it for this video. Make sure to keep an eye out for the HeyZap Mediation and Android Studio video that I'm going to be coming out with soon. It's going to be coming out next. And if you thought this video was useful and you want to see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. All right, thanks everybody.